Hey, what's up? It's Comic95, that's Savia, and yeah, like it feels so good to be back on YouTube. And um, I'm sorry, I'm going to be moving around the camera a lot because I wanted to show you guys. So if you've been following me, um, if you're a subscriber on Patreon, and if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I have moved to Tokyo. And I finally have a normal apartment here. So I really wanted to, yeah, just start to make videos again. I am so happy. I've just been so blessed in my life. And getting this apartment was truly a miracle. And, like, beyond just the apartment, like, my job. I love my job so much. And I've been super busy. Today, honestly, wasn't the best day. It wasn't quite exactly a bad day. But all of my plans, I pretty much canceled them. Not because I wanted to, but because I poorly planned them. And other people kind of did, too. But... I just felt really tired today so I figured like why not just spend this time editing videos and make a welcome back video to start off with instead of just like randomly uploading a new video so yeah um, even about today wasn't the best day I honestly feel super happy um, there's so much going on and my birthday is actually next month so I was telling my patrons even though I was supposed to do a poll there that I think I'll still do um, I wanted to know like what I should do um, I was kind of debating whether or not I wanted to do like a live stream I've never done a live stream in my life and I'm honestly terrified of the thought of doing that but I was trying to debate between if I should do um, a live stream on YouTube or if I should you know do one um, where I have like a zoom party so I figured like if I use zoom it'd be more fun because I can actually interact with you guys we can talk in real time versus YouTube where you can only like leave comments and I can reply to them as I see them so I thought it'd be more fun if we do like a zoom like thing so it's like a real party real meetup and I know a lot of you guys are like oh my god I want to meet you I want to hang out with you when I go to Japan etc so I feel like that would be like the closest thing to that and I don't really have anybody here that I could think of that I like want to hang out with for my birthday um most of the people that I know are like not in Tokyo anymore or they're living in Osaka and I'm kind of a weird person like I'm not an introvert I have extrovert tendencies but because of a lot of mental things with me I relate more to introverts but it's more so out of anxiety and fear and not a matter of me wanting to be alone so I'm really big on like family and birthdays and something really big for me my Uber Eats food is going to be here any moment, just warning you that you'll hear my doorbell soon. Um, I've always I've always wanted to have a birthday party, and I've never really had that. The closest that I had to that was for my 16th birthday. I, like, had my friends meet me downtown, and that was pretty fun, but, like, I've never had, like, a real birthday party. And I'm still not going to have one this year, but it would be really cool, like, to have a group of people, um, you know, to talk to, like, online for my birthday. I'm gonna be broke. I've used all of my money to survive here for the time being, and, um, I'm hoping that by being more regular on YouTube and more consistent with Patreon, I will be bringing in a lot more money. Between that and my new job, I'm not gonna front to you and pretend like I'm rich because I'm living downtown now. I literally used everything that I had to make it this far, and I had help to get the apartment that I have, so... Being completely honest with you, I'm not really sure about where things stand in my life relationship-wise. I thought I had a boyfriend. I don't know anymore. I'm kind of confused. My patrons know what's going on, so if you want to be nosy, you can subscribe to me on Patreon. But there's so much crazy stuff to talk about, not just my apartment, not just with my job, but like my dating life. I want to update you guys on. I want to update you on just everything, situations with the police. There's been more stuff since the last time we spoke and... I'm gonna like walk around. Excuse me, people. You might see some things you're not supposed to see. <laughs> My place is super messy and didn't put everything away. <laughs> I actually just moved my laundry, but I wanted you guys to like be able to see the view so you can see my mirror reflection here right now. Um, I'm going to open this up and take you guys outside. So, I should put up my dryer rack hook thingies. And that's one thing that I hate about this apartment. That and the fact that I can't take out trash at any moment. But we'll make another video talking about that. But I love the view here. Like, look at this. It's beautiful. I like freaked myself out. 
<laughs> there's like an emergency like fire exit thing on my balcony and I accidentally stepped on it so yeah I mean you guys can't really see but yeah I absolutely love my new apartment and yeah so there's some good news there's some bad news um, honestly all of the crazy stuff that's been happening even the bad things I kind of feel like it's a blessing in disguise because it's distracted me from the death of my cat pumpkin you guys will never understand I know I'm not the first or last or only person to ever have a pet and one that died but I have a really special relationship with my cats because of the stuff that I've been through growing up and I really feel like I lost like a child like the pain that I felt when he died was worse than anything I've ever felt in my entire life. Like, I've cried hysterically crazy, like, over boyfriends and over things that have happened during my day. But I don't think I will ever get over his death. And I honestly feel like all of the good and bad things that have happened to me lately have worked as a distraction. So I can't focus on it like how I think I normally would. And I'll be honest with you, as I've talked about before, I'm not 100% where I want to be in life. I want to get my money together. I want to, you know, my, my credit actually dropped 10 points. I made a video talking about it on TikTok. But it actually dropped, no, 11 points, actually. So I want to work on my money. I want to, I want to really say focus on my career, but I do want to do a little more with that too, because I really want to have a business. But as I told you guys before, my main real focus is I know that I want to get married and I want to have a family and I really want to put my focus on dating. And honestly, I flip flop back and forth on a weekly basis. Sometimes I feel like, oh my God, I want to get married tonight. And then other days I'm like, I guess I'm never going to get married. I'm just going to stay internet auntie or something like that. But, um, I feel like I've come too far to just give up so quickly, so easily. And I wanted to say it's quickly because I've honestly, like, always been serious about my relationships. And I know, like, especially the people, like, on Patreon, etc. I talk to you guys and I'm silly. I joke around with you. But please don't ever get it twisted with me. Anytime that I date somebody, it's because I saw potential in them. I wanted to be with them forever. I thought about marrying them. I never just sleep around with dudes for the fun of it. I don't use people for money or anything else like that. I don't care what rumors you hear or anything that you think about me, etc. This is the honest to God truth in me. And even like, I'll be completely honest. I've told you guys before about, you know, people that I've done things with <laughs> instantly after meeting them. It's always been because I felt like I had a good idea of what type of person you were and I could trust you. Not a matter of any guy that I date, we're going to have sex on the first date. I'm not that dumb. I literally have YouTube videos advising other people what not to do and what to do. And that's one of those things. So, yeah. Um, of course, I'm human. Sometimes I don't take my own advice. I make mistakes. People lie, pretend to be something that they are not. Some people can weasel around my little criteria. It happens. But I know what I'm doing. I'm not stupid. This little curl thing is irritating me. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I'm really, like, just looking forward to sharing more about my personal life, making journals, etc. I've had some fallouts with people, um, including the quote unquote two black girls to always refer to, and I already made a video talking about that, but I wanted to put this one first because I don't want to come back with some angry ghetto long video. So surprise this video is only eight minutes right now. But um yeah, you're gonna see all of that stuff too, but I just wanted to come back in a more calm way and just give you like a quick update on what's going on. As of right now, I'm living by myself. I have a nice brand new apartment, biggest one that I've had, it's brand new. I'm living downtown in Shibuya and I'm staying in Tokyo. I'm not moving to another city again. I'm sorry, I don't care if I get married. He has to be willing to come to Tokyo, move his job here, whatever. I'm not, I'm not leaving here again, absolutely not, unless God himself asks for me to do so or makes me. So. Yeah, I also would like to stay in the city too. I love being in Shibuya. Um, aside from living in Shibuya and living in Tokyo, etc. Um, yeah, like, what was I going to say? Relationship dating wise, like, oh my god, there's just so much drama, so much crap to talk about. But the good thing in all of this that I really want to focus on is I have a good place and I have a good job. And I want to keep these things. I don't want to end up in the same situation. I'm going to pay my bills and rent. I've learned my lesson. And I really want to be more active and consistent on YouTube and with blogging. I haven't written a blog post in a long time. And I want to make more positive YouTube videos. It's okay to talk about negative things, real things. My goal is not to be a negative Nancy, but to talk about real life. So if things are bad, negative, whatever, you're going to get that too but for the time being I really want to you know to help myself mentally 
So I want to focus on the good things going on in the world. And I really want to give advice for people that have never been to Japan, like for new people, not so much people that are living here.、Um, my, one of my patrons gave me that idea, and I was like, you know, I never really thought about that. Most of my content is really catered towards people that have already moved to Japan but just don't know everything. I would like to talk more to people that have no idea what they're doing, what they're getting themselves into. And do keep in mind, because I'll be honest with you, for those of you that have reached out to me, sent me messages, I see your kind messages. Thank you so much for all of the nice things you've had to say. But I do have to set boundaries. So please understand that I cannot reply to every single last email and message that I get. People don't know when or how to stop. And on top of that, I charge money for <laughs> consultations. It's how I make money, it's my business. So if you cannot afford to pay what I charge, then. Please refrain from asking me super personal, detailed questions. If it's something I can make an actual YouTube video on, then yeah, I'll answer your question in that way. But I have people that send me messages like about specific jobs, specific situations that pertain to them. And I've already made videos addressing this. I get it, some of you are new. I don't do that anymore because people take advantage of me and my time, and I'm losing money by doing that. So please understand. And same thing goes for comments. I'm no longer going to waste my time like, going back and forth with trolls. You say something ignorant, rude that I disagree with, I'll just make a video on it, make my money off of it that way. Not going to argue with you in the comment section. I want to be at peace with myself and my life, and I want to enjoy being a YouTuber, enjoy blogging. It's stressful, it's hard. You have to deal with bullying, death threats, people harassing you, stalking you, etc. It's difficult being a YouTuber, and this is coming from someone with a super small channel. So, yeah. I also had to work up the courage to put my link back on my Instagram profile. If you've been following me and stalking me for a minute, you probably noticed that I occasionally take down my links, and that's a big reason why I occasionally don't feel comfortable having them posted because I find people that, you know, if I ignore their message, they will go to my YouTube channel and, like, do dislike bombs. And it's really funny because I saw that YouTube recently was talking about how they're getting rid of the dislike bar. People are getting upset and talking about how it's going to help bad channels and scammers, etc., which I agree to a certain extent. But for someone like me, I see it as being more of a positive thing.、Um, I have had people do that tons of times where it's like if I reject a guy, say that I don't like him, don't want him, etc. Like, not, not even with me like saying anything to him bad, but like I've d u p e d so many nasty messages and I'll either like, you know, be sarcastic back. Or I'll tell them, like, no, like, what I was like, you know, doing XYZ with you, or I just don't say anything at all. And that's the more popular one that I do. I just ignore it. I don't read it, or I'll leave them on red. And people lose their crap on me. They'll make fake profiles, they'll leave nasty comments, just do all t y p e of weird stuff. Or people that find me on YouTube, they'll hear me talk something, you know, something about Trump, or something about, you know, dating, or whatever the case is, and they don't like it, disagree. And instead of just being like, oh, I don't like this person, leave the dislike and go, nope. They will stalk me, harass me on all of my different social media. Sites, etc. So, I'm used to this stuff. I've been doing YouTube for years now, but it is stressful, it is annoying, and it is bullying, and I'm still human. So, yeah, there's pros and cons to that. Of course, dislikes also help you realize what content people do and don't like, but I have videos talking about real things in Japan, such as for the fact that there's bugs everywhere here. People got mad at that for some reason. That m e a n people dislike it. People are sending me nasty messages. Oh, it's just your place, it's just whatever. Okay, sure. So, Part of being a YouTuber, part of talking about Japan, part of being real. It's easy to make videos just talking about how perfect your relationships are, how perfect your dates are, how great your job is. And I want to do those things too, don't get me wrong. But I don't want my channel to be based around how great and perfect my life is. I want to talk about real things. I want to talk about good days, bad days, everything. And if something is negative, I want to not say it to make Japan look bad, but I want to inform you. Because those are things that I did not know about before I came here. I knew that Japan had, you know, those so called, what do they call them?、Uh, hunter spiders or whatever type things, which they really don't have. That's really an Australian thing, but they look like hunter spiders. I knew they had a giant, you know, giant spiders, different breeds, etc. And I heard about things like flying roaches, etc. But I did not know infestations of them were totally normal. And so many, like, little things, like about cleanliness. I heard that Japan was so clean. And while it does look clean, I had to learn that it physically looks clean because there's no trash. But things are not being Cleaned down properly. Like little things, people picking their nose and you know, digging in their butt and digging in ears and just all t y p e of stuff, not covering their mouth when they call for a sneeze. Like, I didn't hear about this stuff because people don't like to talk about those things.、Um, all of the big channels, they don't say anything bad about Japan, and that's the reason why. And what has it gotten them? They have millions of subscribers, hundreds of thousands of them. People love them for that. People want to only hear positive and good things. Of course, nobody wants to hear nothing but you know, negativity either. But I think it's also important for you to know the truth. And sometimes the truth is not good. So. 
yeah, I guess that's pretty much it for this video. Sorry. My food is here. One second. Sorry. I I don't know why. Like I, I really don't like talking like <laughs> when they come here. Just like pressing the button. It makes me feel so uncomfortable. But okay, yeah. Uh, let me get my food. So yeah. Give me just a second. And you know I got a tip. So I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. So yeah, my food is here. Um yeah, I don't even know like where I want to start with making videos, but I'm definitely going to spend tomorrow recording some more stuff and editing some more stuff. I've been making tons of videos. I have not just been like sitting at home doing nothing. I have been so, 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 so busy um, trying to make new content for you guys. So um, I cannot wait to show you all of the videos that I've made. Sorry, I'm trying to turn it so there's better light. Um, there's so many things that I haven't recorded yet that I want to talk about. And yeah, like I said, I really just want to, I want to make more positive things for the time being, like talk about the good. But don't worry, I will still keep it real and we will be talking about the bad things too. So. Sorry, I love these like fries that they have at Wendy's um, Japan. But, mm. I feel like I'm in such a weird place in life because one part of me just wants to give up on everything and go back but I feel like I've come too far and it's like every time I get one or two things I end up losing the other so now it's like, I'm, I'm in my dream city. I have, I could have a better apartment, but for Tokyo, really for anywhere in Japan, for me to be single, I have my dream apartment. I have my dream job. Just don't have a husband. <laughs> and part of me sometimes regrets not trying to make things work and being quick to cut people off. Because I feel like by doing that, it's the reason why I'm single right now. But then I look back and I'm like, no, you didn't just cut them off. You had good reasoning for doing it. I put myself first. I put my mental health first. I thought about my future. I thought about my children. And I knew that if I were to stay in that relationship, that it wouldn't have been worth it. It was going to be bad. And I hate using the word toxic, but that's the truth, that it was toxic. It wasn't going to be good for me. And that my reasoning for staying would be just so I could say that I'm married, just that I could say, oh, look, my husband has money, etc. And those things are important but it doesn't matter if you have money if you're miserable it doesn't matter if you have a husband if he's a cheater if he's you know not treating you well belittling you etc so having to know when to walk away you don't have the communication that you want you're not getting your you know physical needs met you know I'll keep it real with you I absolutely love sex I love intimacy I love cuddling I love talking I like deep conversation and I like kissing like I want those things and if my partner cannot do that he's too busy too busy I'll find somebody else that can so yeah that's it for this video my food's gonna get cold so I'll leave it here and yeah thank you for staying subscribed welcome to all of the new subscribers that I have um, I'm probably not gonna make it there but I just want to say it anyway my goal for my birthday I would love to have 2,000 subscribers um, by the end of the year so yeah, that's pretty much it. So, to end off this video, um, please, if you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, if you know of anyone that could benefit from some of my other videos, please be sure to share my content. And I guess my other thing for you is, please let me know. I'll be doing a poll both here and on Patreon. Let me know which you'd rather have. Do you prefer if I do a YouTube live stream? Or do you want me to have, like, a Zoom link that I drop? Um, that I'll share on YouTube, Instagram, all my social media, and Patreon. And then you guys can join me at a you know specific time to do like a little party. So I'll have to choose like a time that'll work. I'll probably end up going with, I guess, the same 8 a.m. my time. Because that's what time I normally drop my videos. So 
yeah, and that'll be on my birthday. So it'll be like the 28th for the U.S. Um, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. It's a weekday too, but it should be holiday for everyone. Um, yeah, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being subscribed. Thank you for all your kind messages. I see them even when I don't reply to them. I get your emails. I see your DMs on Instagram and on Twitter. And I'm sorry for those of you that have, you know, situations where you need help. I'm sorry I charge for that. Um, if you'd like to have a consultation, we could talk one-on-one. -on -one. You can pay for that. The links are in the description. Can't afford it. Sorry. This is my time. It's my business. And I can't work for free anymore. I've done that. I'm sorry. So... As always, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Comic95. You can add me on Snapchat at Comic the Savior. You can also follow me on TikTok at Comic the Savior, like my Facebook fan page at Comic95 the Savior, and read my blog at Comic95.com. I promise you I'll start doing more on my blog too. And yeah, if you miss me, want more content, I have tons of videos that will never be made public on Patreon that you can subscribe to there. I also have, you know, little blog posts and journals that are written about my day-to-day -day life and pictures and things that never get shared publicly. So consider becoming a patron. It's only $5 a month. I promise you, you'll enjoy it. I'm more entertaining than Netflix. So, and I'm cheaper. <laughs> so yeah, thank you so much. I love you guys and I hope you'll watch another video. Bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>